All right, adjusted some settings. Hopefully y'all can see a little better. All right, we're doing some more cave runs and the attempt is to get to the end. If I can get all the things and have enough time, I might do the monkey boss. Oh, something's hitting my dragon. Hang on. This is the upper south cave. The hell's attacking my dragon? Why? Why are you messing with me? I don't want to mess with you. Stupid penis horse. Okay, now that nothing's messing with my dragon. <laughs> now we can go in here. Now this cave, I like this cave. This cave is very, very, very dangerous. But only part of it. And the part of it that's dangerous, if you bring grappling hooks, you can actually skip. This used to be a cool cave. Like, I'd run Baryonyxes and stuff in here. Alright, what do we got? Y'all can come back this way. Come on. I ain't fighting next to the cliff. Y'all can come get me. There's half of this cave is underwater. The underwater portion is extremely dangerous. However, the underwater portion can actually be skipped. And I'm lazy, so whatever I can do to make my life easier, I'm going to. I hate y'all. I hate y'all so much. So we just bring our happy little Baryonyx friend in here. Like, I remember Sparkle always wanted to do bring Thylas in here. There's one part where Thylas will get stuck. Once they get stuck, it is just a bad time. Come on, bats. Go ahead and get y'all. I didn't say anything about spiders. Man, the high level bats in here. Alright, so the Megapithecus needs three uh, artifacts just like the Bridge Mother did. Two of these caves are actually really easy. Like, this was pretty easy. I don't have any fish, so let's get rid of all this heavy meat. Cool. So the big trick for this one is we need to wander down. Sometimes there's a loot box in that room. So let's head to the right. This is one of the infamous, uh, everything's in the freaking wall. Arc stages. Back here. Usually there's a loot drop back there as well. Y'all need to get away from me. I need to stop backing up before I back off an edge. Like a moron. Because I'll do it. Sometimes it's a loot drop back here. Doesn't seem like any is up right now. Because of all the scorpions and snakes in this one, 
Bug repellent is not super useful. It helps. And if you can get to the point where the... Uh, spawn's broken in the right way, you could actually just run by everything with bug repellent. But, this is my first time going into this cave on this server, so we ain't broken anything. Usually I come in this cave with dire wolves, but since I got a really, really good baryonyx, I want to use a really, really good baryonyx. Alright, what's our explorer note? Hot dogs! We now know about hot dogs. It is now daytime outside. That means absolutely nothing to me. You got left and you got right. Left leads you circling back around and uh, basically takes you everywhere you don't need to go. We're going to head to the right. Another nice little cliff right here. One of the cool parts I do like about the caves is there's usually resources in here. So if you were in on a server where you could build, you could actually build a nice base and have all the resources you could possibly roll right next to you. <laughs> I think we have cave building turned off. Now we're at the part I wanted to get to. <laughs> Welcome to this cool little area. This huge cave here. Explorer note. What we got? The Mammoth. There we go. Believe it or not, There ain't a whole lot left for us in this part of the cave. Oh my lord. You broke my bunny costume! Stupid bats. Okay, one onic down. Okay, there goes my last friend. Now, the weird part about this cave is, if you see, if you look right over there, you can see a hole in the ground. That hole... Oh my lord. Why? That hole is actually the exit. Or the exit to the underwater portion. What level are you? 145, of course you are. We might be running off here in a minute. Jesus. Please don't be high level. Okay, you're not. You are just a punk. Then we got a spider over here. Okay. That sucked. <laughs> Can I feed you a medical brew? No, I can't. Okay. Well, here's the trick to this. 
You gotta stand in exactly the right spot. Very honest is good and uh healed. Huh. Let's dump all this meat that he can't use anyway. Stupid baryotics. You're neutral. Nothing attacked me. I, I'm not sure why it jumped in there, but okay. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to hook up there. Let's see if I can pull it off. Yep. Maybe. I got it. So we just bypassed the entire underwater section. And we got our artifact. Okay. I can jump in the water. Or I can use a grappling hook to make this go really fast. You, you see what I chose to do. So... What should be a very difficult cave is now done. That was all there is to it. Do I have any fiber on me? I do not. Can't repair my bunny costume yet. We'll, we'll fix that when I get out of here. Buttholes. Stupid Arthur prayers. Other than this, I still need to make, for the next cave, <coughs> there's another trick. And for that one, I do actually need bug repellent, and I don't have it on me. Well, I don't need it, but... Oh, lord. I think I went the wrong way. I did. Pretty sure I did. That was a 150. Holy crap. No, I didn't go the wrong way. Those were just the respawns. Really, really bad respawns. Nope. No, you don't. Oh, my lord. I am stuck. Yeah, this cave respawns pretty quickly. And usually in ways that don't benefit you at all. You can do this cave by yourself on foot if you have a good shotgun. Okay. I wanted to start with this cave because this one's kind of hard to find. And if you can't tell, I kind of know my way around it. Been here a few times. Cave number one to three down. 
We have our artifact. I need a bunch of fiber. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Give me fiber. I gotta make some parachutes. I want to make at least two. What do I need? Thatch. Cool. Good deal. That was fun. Always nice to play with my buddies. All right, cryopod. I was gonna fix my bunny costume. Oh, crap. I forgot I upgraded my bunny costume. Can't fix it. Really wish it wouldn't have broke it. Now, next cave is the Northeast Cave on Carnivore Island. There's a really easy and stupid way to do this cave. It honestly works best. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I actually have an even easier way to do this cave. I do believe we have flyers allowed in caves. If we have flyers allowed, I'm going to cheese this cave so hard it's not going to know what's happened to it. I ain't even going to worry about anything. We're taking the dragon in. One cave I'm actually worried about going into is the Western Water Cave. That's the one we that's the third cave we have to do for this. And the thing I'm worried about is that cave can be incredibly easy if the spawn's broken up in a good way. But if the spawn is not broken up in a good way, you can expect to die. <laughs> there's a lot of eels, there's a lot of really bad things. I can bring my squid into it, but that doesn't guarantee the squid's going to live. I have lost squids in that cave. I really don't want to lose another one. And we're not even going to talk about the East Cave, East Water Cave. I hate that cave. That cave is dangerous. All right, we got birds, we got rexes. All sorts of stupid garbage. You know, every time I came here looking for rexes, where were you assholes? 105, huh? Hush. I spit water on you. Hush. Get my stamina back. Ah, poor... Poor bird didn't see that coming.
another bird down. Alright, this is the northeast cave. You got anything important on you? You got bug repellent. You got a bunch of important stuff on you. Well... Too heavy. Start dropping some stuff. Is that good? We light enough now? No, no we are not. Oh. Well, I have a ton of wood on me. How am I now? Can I move? I can move. Let's get all this meat off. Yep, that sucked. Now, this cave has a really easy way of doing it. You have to swim down here. Oh, we can do that on a baryonyx. But if I can fly in this cave, I have no reason not to. Trust me, this will make this easier. Normal way I would do this cave. What do you have on you? You got my scuba tanks. I do want those. Thanks. All right. There's only one path through this little water section. Be nice if I could see, though. That'd be great. Um, you... And you. Since I can't freaking see. This the entrance? Okay, here's the entrance. There's the exit. I missed my right hand turn. Oh, we got a bunch of friends right here. Yeah, this cave is full of uh, bad things. This is another cool cave where you can get dung beetles, though. Alright, let's clear out this top section. There's a bunch of jumps and really annoying things that you have to do in this section. That I would really like to avoid if I can. Okay. I can take the scuba stuff off. Can you fly? You can fly. Well, considering it could fly, we're going down here.
We can very easily do this game. Unofficial, you can't do this. If I haven't made that clear yet. You cannot fly in the caves. Which means for this section, you have to be on foot. See an explorer note that I would like to get? Let's grab that first. <laughs> However, on official, one thing I did see somebody did for this cave is they threw down a, uh, they put a Giga down here. Who do we got? Megalosaurus. Now those supposedly spawn in here. I think that might be one. No, uh, that's a obsidian rock. That was the thing we saw in the lava cave earlier. Well, this was fun. So we got the Megalosaurus box. There's another box right there. So us hop off the dragon. What we got? <laughs> the little monkeys. All right, artifact of the devourer. That's two. And being able to fly makes this part so much easier. There's a lot of things you use a bunch of grappling hooks for. But the, the alternate way to do this is use bug repellent so most of the things in the bottom don't aggro you. And at the bottom, just kind of... You parachute down, and then you climb back up using grappling hooks. That's the trick to this game. So, we got two artifacts. Cool. Thank you. All right, Barry. I don't need those. Need that. And one of these. I do have an idea of a trick I'm going to do for that uh, the water cave. There we go, and we're out. He's acting stupid because he's trying to act like I'm using a weapon on top of him. But uh, thanks to having flyers, that was a joke. Excuse me, y'all. Level 55 Rex. You think I'd be afraid of it? Yeah, yeah, meow, meow. you back. How about that? Two? Alright, we can take that off now. Where's my dragon? There's my dragon. We're gonna stop back by the base before we head to the water cave because I want to drop off these artifacts in case bad things happen.
Didn't even need the parachutes. Well, that's ironic here for the, uh, the water cave we're hitting. This is the closest cave to the where we live. Where the uh, community center is. I do very much have an idea of how I can get to the final room of it. Or at least make sure I can get the artifact out. That's the only thing I really care about doing. As long as I can get the artifact and get it out, we can do this boss fight. Now, y'all watch me take this trip on, uh, Argentavis is enough. This is a this is a slow run right here. But the good old wyvern makes this so much faster. Meow to you too, sir. There's some aloes. Get my stamina back. What you got, Wyvern? One more cave. One more, the one that scares me. Aimed a little off. I'm not looking forward to this. Hopefully the cage is pretty well broken up. Hi, shark. What level are you? Level 10. Best one I've seen. Alright there, wyvern. Time to drop off a few things. Let's see, where am I going? Right here. Thanks, man. It's good to see you, Dan. Appreciate it. Artifacts out of my inventory. Don't want to lose those in here. Anything that I'm missing. 
Anything I don't absolutely need on me needs to get off of my inventory. Come back. Time for the piece of nightmare. Thank you. You can hold on to this, Mr. Anki. You can hold that. Those, that. Don't really need parachutes down there or grappling hooks. Keep the pike. Oh. Those off, take that off. Here. Okay. One more K. I don't want the Baryonyx. Because it is, that's not what I want to bring down there. Let's bring my friend. Make sure he has a saddle and then we can bring my friend. You got a saddle? No you don't. What do I need? More hide. Well good news is I got that in my inventory. Get it out of my inventory. That actually makes me happy. The squid should be able to do it. But the final room where you can get the, uh, the artifact. There's some bad things right there. And I'd rather have a backup plan. Hi, Squid. Thank you. Now, I've lost Squids in this cave before. I'd really rather not lose another one. Open. Lord. Good news is, at least I get to travel quickly. That little ink is a movement speed boost. It blinds your enemies and gives you a movement speed boost. Useful for getting away. Squids have a couple cool traits. These are technically modeled after vampire squids. And unlike most things down here, these don't get messed up and stunned. Don't give you really, really bad things happening when you come across everybody's favorite little eel. Now, I don't have the world's best saddle, so it's just a primitive. So hopefully it'll be enough. Hopefully. We won't know till we get in here. This is the last artifact I need to pull this off. There's a Mosa over there. Where's my cave entrance? Oh. 
Oh, that's an Alpha Mosa. Really don't want to mess with you. You can stay out here, Alpha Mosa. See? You still get slowed from them. But they're not the most dangerous things in the world. Alright, I'm hoping for loot drops. This cave has some of the best loot drops in the game. Don't. I pretty much like most of these things coming at me. Quids are powerful as crap, though. I don't like seeing you guys. I didn't want to kill all those. Oh crap. Ammonite got me. That means everything in this cave is about to come after my ass. Can't move. Freaking Ammonite. That's an Alpha Shark. We're gonna grab him. We're draining our health back off of this alpha shark. This needs to get out of here. We're draining more health out of him than he's able to take out of me.
This is one of the problems of running a squid in here. You hit everything. This shark can't do enough damage to actually do anything to me. But I can't tell if I'm actually how far I've damaged him. I've done this with a Mosa too. It's just gonna take me a while to kill the stupid guy. Come on, kill him. This is, this is going to take a minute. my squid have an oxygen meter what sense does that make Way more damage this way. It cripples your damage. The grabbing on it gives you a whole bunch more survivability. You almost dead. Please. I can't tell how, if I'm even damaging. I can tell I'm damaging. Okay, it's got blood on it now. It's taking a lot longer than I wanted it to. Ninety Alpha. Good job, Squidward.
Where am I? Ow. Ah, there I am. Nothing around. Give it. What'd I get? An assault rifle and something I'll never use. That's nice, though. Nothing up there, right? Okay, this is the next place that has a few, uh, that can have a loot drop in it. Loot drop will actually spawn right there on those rocks. And there is a note up here at the top, but I've already gotten it. Okay, down here. Right here leads to the artifact room. The artifact is on the ground underneath the water. Hence why I was bringing the Giga. Giga can actually stand up in this room. Under the water. Oh, there's a freaking... Level 280 shark. Let's get my friend down over here. Pulled it off. And I see a drop down here. There's my artifact. Dunkle Osteus. Ascendant Combound Bow. That's pretty nice. There's one more potential spot for a drop, so I want to check it. Well, we pulled it off. We got all the artifacts. I am heavy. Well, there's two more potential spots for artif uh, for uh, drops, so I want to check those out. Give me that. Give me that. First one's way up here. And there is a drop. So I'm not gonna... I might check the other one. I don't know. Rexel Blueprint. Fabricated pistol that I'll never use.
First time I tried to do this cave on this server, just trying to test it. Found an ascendant pump action shotgun blueprint. That would have been amazing to have. But I got down here, tried to grab an artifact, and got my got destroyed. See? Quick reactions. <laughs> Gotta have quick reactions. Okay, up top here. Sometimes there's a loot crate that'll spawn like right here. That's the uh, squid dossier. There's another loot crate that can spawn right here. Last but not least, one can spawn right here. One can also spawn in the water down there. And there's one more note over here. But I've already gotten that one as well. So, we achieved the mission. Time to get the hell out of here. Best part about leaving? I'm not worried about <laughs> fighting anything. I'm just running. We completed the mission. I'm happy. All right, let's make sure I can breathe. Get my flippers back on just in case I end up in an oh shit moment. Honestly, we need to get rid of some of this junk out of my inventory. <laughs> fish. Drop the fish. Thank you. And keep that keep that melee going up. Ooh, I can move. I wish I could grab another artifact since I'm here, but I can't. Ow. Like I said, I'm not trying to fight anything on the way out. I am getting out of here. The only thing I'm doing is getting the hell out of here. We can come explore this cave more later. This is a good cave to run when you're trying to find Rex Saddle Blueprint, because every drop in here can give you one. It's rare, but every every single drop can give you a has the chance of giving you one. Alright, we got the mission complete. We're gonna get to do the bu we'll do the monkey. I have time. But I think I'm gonna get back to base and I'm gonna take a quick break before we do it. I'm trying not to wet my pants. Yeah, these caves took a little longer to do. The freaking ones for the dragon? There's two pretty easy caves. Well, there's one really easy cave. As long as you have bug repellent and good um, fur armor. Not bad. There's one... Um, and then the other three are humongous pain in the ass caves. Which, the water cave on the other side, I might have to go out of my way and get a rock elemental. I don't even really like rock elementals, but I'm either going to get a crab or a rock elemental. I'll give it one go, not trying to cheese it. But if it makes me mad, I'm cheesing it. That's an alpha shark. Right outside my base. You don't belong here. Stupid alpha shark.
definitely don't want an alpha shark outside my base. I'm good. It just took me forever to kill one of these. At least the music's good. That's one thing I have to say they nailed on this game. They did good music. Now the bad side of a squid. If you run out of stamina, you can't attack. I wish I would have had my chibi pet on me. But I didn't bring it because I thought I was going to... I was afraid I was going to die. There we go. Get in. Thank you. Shut the door. Shut the door. <laughs> Alright. Well... That was successful. Alright, we were successful, and I will be right back.
back. Time to actually do the fight. So I need my gear. I don't need the... I don't need that. I know one thing I want to do. I forgot. <laughs> I need to take it off and be right back. I know one thing I need to do. We're going to do something real quick. Now, the monkey is a rare fight where you can actually do some damage. If my Rexes go down, I'm going to have to finish him. Do I have any gunpowder? Good. Good. Come on. I don't know how much this can make. That, you can get that, you can get that, you can get that, you can get that. Let's get this off my inventory. Artifact the brute. Ooh. Leggings, boots, gloves. Get all that gear off of me. You can have that. Imagine this is done with my bullets. It is. Get my artifacts out. Alright, dragon. Come here. Alright, the monkey's a very different fight. The monkey likes to throw rocks. And those rocks, if they hit you, even if you're on a dinosaur, we'll kill you. Now, this always worries me going into one of these solo. Because if he hits me, the fight's just over. I don't even get a shot at it. Alright, I have my health potions. The monkey's also different from the other two in that the other two are hot areas. Monkey fight is freezing cold. Now, I could have stopped and got a free curry, but I, that's why I was making sure I had health potions. Because my health is going to drain this whole fight, more than likely. Because I think the only piece of gear I have that increases warmth is my boots. And as y'all saw right there, I don't even have that much gear considering most of my stuff is broken. I don't want to take all the time to go fix it, but considering it's geely and I gotta go get organic polymer, which is a pain in the ass. Let's get all the Rexes in position. Yeah, every little bit of damage will help. I don't remember the Gamma fight. I rarely did the Gammas. Usually I did the Beta fights. Or when I got better Rexes, I did the Alphas. This fight's a little different.
One of the advantages of cryopotting is at least I could throw them in the general area that I wanted them. And that was nothing more than just walking them into place. This takes a little longer. Back in the day before cryopods, we had to actually run them. All the way from base, trying to have the bastards follow us. Or carry them on the back of a Quetzal. With a platform built on it to carry you. So each Quetzal run was like four or five Rexes, so this took... Doing boss fights, you tried to make sure you had enough stuff to do a couple in one shot. <clears throat> During my little break between uh, streams, I went ahead and made the two... Uh, the Rexes that were missing saddles, I went ahead and made them saddles. So now everybody's got a little bit of armor. Hopefully they'll live. Not holding my breath though. Not gonna hold my breath. These ones with low health are probably gonna die. Just from the area of effect damage. But. All we can do is try. It's just gear. If I lose it, I lose it. Like I can't get it back. It helps to have a tribe too. So you can have more than one member helping you get all the Rexes in position. Back in our previous server, we used to do this at Green Ob. Because Green Ob was the one that was closest to us. with Gamma, but I'm kind of wanting to do the... I'm wanting to do the tech game, so I gotta do the Gamma Flights. I didn't see that coming. Okay, almost done. This is the slow part. Two more. Imagine if we, as long as everybody's on the platform, we might stand a chance at this fight. One more. That's everybody.
Got bullets. Got my three artifacts. I don't have a whole lot of bullets. But, here we go! Rex, do you mind? Do you mind? Damn! Oh, here goes nothing! Thirty seconds. Ten survivors and twenty tames. Well, we got twenty tames. Hmm. Here we go. Yep, and I am freezing. Good. Let me get on my beauty. Come on, Yudi. You idiots! God, I hate Rexes. See that rock? Yeah, I don't want that rock hitting anywhere near me. Ow! Okay, good. It stops. They stopped doing the thing where it damages me. Because I should have died right there. And his punk ass is dead. Monkey. We had one Rex that didn't even participate. Idiot Rexes. There goes two more. <laughs> you dumbasses. <laughs> I lost more Rexes to falling than anything. Come on. God, they're stupid. <laughs> I hope the one that had the trophy didn't fall. I just thought about that. It better not have. Holy shit, I'm going to be mad if it did. That means I got to do that again.
Please tell me it didn't. This is gonna suck if that's the case. I'm gonna be really mad because most of them died because after the fact, due to me having them unfollowed. Stop looking at me. There you go. God, they're stupid. If I've never said it before, I hate Rexes. They're dumb. Nope, not you. Well, that point went into weight unnecessarily. I'm almost certain that the one that killed it fell. What do you even do that fight? Oh, not, not this one. Right side, I have some eggs. I can replace the dumbasses. My pretty one lived. This one doesn't have it. Yabba dabba do, motherfucker. Alright, last shot. This one doesn't even have a level. Nope. Stupid Rexes. Okay, you are gonna have to move. Well, one of the dipshits that ran off the edge had my, my trophy. 
I should have just left them where they were. I only have myself to blame. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I lost seven Rexes. Not a single one because they died. Every last one of them because they fell off a freaking cliff. Including the one that had my rewards for doing that. Well, I got the, the flag and nothing else. But I need the trophy to do the, uh, the tech cave. So I get to do that again. But I'm not doing it now. It's, uh, it's Mother's Day. Time to go visit my mom here in a little bit. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Those of you who stopped by the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I have, I guess, the monkey to do again. And then I have another... I have one more boss on this... Uh, server. Then we can try to do a different one. I'm surprised my, <laughs> my armor didn't break. But, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next stream.